are you? Good. It's always nice to see you. Your show is very unlike, there are a lot of travel shows. There's a lot of uh, shows where people eat food on the road. Yours is very different because you are not, uh, you rarely talk with people who are selling anything. You're not dealing with tourist agencies. And, but it must be difficult to find your way to the places that tour guides don't want to show you. Well, we try really hard to get that right. We've learned a lot of lessons, some of them painfully over the years. Uh, you know, your local contacts on the ground, you know, they, they, they have to know the area. They have to have a sense of humor. They have to know what you're not looking for. You know, we're not looking to do top 10 best list or a fair and comprehensive overview. But, uh, you know, some of the places that we go, uh, you have a bad fixer, you're really in trouble. You know, you, we, we learned, like, in Sicily, we had a problematic fixer once, and, you know... He promised, I'm going to take you to the, to the best uh, pizzeria in all Sicily, which, by the way, my brother owns, you know? So yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> this is not what we're looking for. <laughs> right, exactly. How quickly do you know you have a dud fixer? Uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. You know, uh, I think we did, I'm not going to say which country. We went to one country with a, a, a New Yorker who claimed to have deep roots in this area, had spent, you know, many years there, he said, and uh, we showed up with him, and all the locals immediately, like, they're talking to me and, and, and saying, I could hear them saying in Spanish, who, who is this jerk? <laughs> <laughs> you have a, I, I don't know if it was the fixer's fault, if it was your fault, if this is just a core fault of the governments that are mad at you. You have run afoul of some foreign governments. Uh, I have. Uh, you know, the, <laughs> the worst case scenario is when the government sort of tries to infiltrate your local crew and make things prettier than they are. You know, oh, I see. So, you know, official bodies enter, and, you know, we're shooting with a butcher in rural Romania. You know, we like to do typical things with typical people. And we had a local butcher in a rural area of Romania set to go with his family. Apparently, the government found out they arrived the night before, unbeknownst to us. It's like, you know, you're, you know your, your house is not attractive enough. We move you to nicer house. Uh, dress your children, you know, an eight-year-old and a nine, his nine-year-old sister. Dress them in traditional garb. Make them dance for the <laughs> Americans. You know? So it's just this painfully <laughs> false, awkward thing. These terrified children dancing, yeah. like little, little, I remember little that humble episode figurines. And you know? thinking, I don't know if girls dance at Romanian butchers, but. Uh, <laughs> Do not shoot stray dogs, you know. <laughs> do not shoot gypsy. Only shoot, you know, nice new Hilton Hotel, Cadillac. You know? <laughs> That's good. When you said do not shoot stray dogs, I thought a different thing. <laughs> no, I, I forgot okay. you have cameras. I forgot you have cameras. I was like, that, I don't know. That seems pretty forward thinking of the Romanian government. <laughs> a big, big, big scandal with a, you know, of course, by trying to manipulate reality, you know, uh, it ended up being a very tragically funny show. And I was all over the newspapers uh, in Romania as a KGB agent, Mossad agent, and yeah. CIA agent, all at the same time. It's apparently so probably not going back. I never <laughs> say never. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're a Mossad agent, you'll find your way back in. So, um, 